We go. Just wanted to show you the Flint corn harvest. So this is all popcorn. It's um, one of the most ancient grains out there. Uh, I had a collection of seed. Planted a handful of seeds. Had a whole bunch of corn grow. And you can see they're not very long cobs of corn. But different, just beautiful cobs. Uh, I grew it more for the beauty. Harvested it a little bit early, I think. Um, but I'll probably get, you know, a couple mason jars of corn kernels out of this. I'll get a little bit of lime. Nixtamalization. You gotta uh, cure it properly. Unless you want to pop it like popcorn, there's a few different ways to do it. You can also um, kind of toast it over a fire. So that it doesn't quite pop. And then you grind it down with a mortar and pestle. Make a meal out of it. Like a corn meal. So it's just in here in the office, kind of drying out. And we'll have seed stock for, you know, the next uh, few years. And then we'll probably have plenty of popcorn. You know. But really just a, a pretty kind of a corn. Some people call it glass gem or um, flint corn. I think it's more of a flint corn. These little um, kernels are hard as flint. So back in the day in the Stone Age, this was the hardest, you know, flint was the hardest thing. It was what you made tools out of. So um, they named this corn after the hardest thing, which is flint. So not a bad little harvest. Um, I'll keep you posted. I have a little bit more outside. It's still green. But yeah, some of these are real pretty. The real nice pinks and purples. This is not a very large corn cob, obviously, but just gorgeous. You know, a lot of people might not care about the beauty of something like corn, but, you know, I think it's something worthy of growing. Next year, I, I might grow something different. For more productivity. Now that we have a seed stock from this. This has been three years to get this size harvest. The first year I gathered up, you know about four or five of these cobs and grew some of it then the following year I had harvested it and grew some more I grew a big patch of it and this is from the big patch this is year three so to build up your seed supply it might take a few years starting with a small patch and then getting bigger and bigger until you have enough to grow a field something to keep in mind that you can't just Unless you source the seeds from somebody else, you can't just strictly seed save and grow a huge crop. It'll take a few years to build that seed stock up. If you don't want to plant everything out. Like I could have just planted everything and rolled the dice, but I wanted to keep, you know, a good amount of seed put back in case I was unsuccessful this year. 
I would have um, enough seed to start over next year or the year after and fail multiple times before I ran out of seed. Because um, gardening and farming is difficult. And there's a high failure rate if you don't know what you're doing. I, mean, I have a clue of what I'm doing, but it's still a learning process. And every year it changes a little bit different. Professional farmers all over the world are struggling right now. So I feel very blessed just to have this little tote full of corn. Something to show for the last few years. Real beautiful corn. Like I said, an excellent popcorn. And um, could be yeah, a good corn meal too. So anyway, just thought I'd share uh, this last harvest. And I hope you guys are getting prepped up, getting ready for what's coming. And, and obviously we've already experienced a lot, so... This is a good little um, a crop that makes me feel good about um, the efforts that I put in. And um, having a few supplies put back is, uh, is huge as far as you know making sure that you're uh, squared away and that your family is taken care of, that your friends are taken care of, that you're taken care of, that the animals are taken care of. By the way, keep a good library of information. Talk to you later.